seen data visualized on both maps and other types of graphs, you get to pick for this one what is the best way to show this data. So this is going off of the air quality data, looking at a metric that I calculated to compare the city's air quality with the state average. This is the difference between the state average of that air quality metric, the particulate matter 2.5 micrometers in diameter or smaller. So if there's a negative number like here, that means that the city has a higher daily PM 2.5 than the state average. And then if there's a positive number, that means that the city is actually measuring a lower average daily PM 2.5 than the state average. As you can see on a map, this shows where these cities are located geographically. But do you all think that this is the best way to necessarily show this data? If you said that no, this map is not the best way to show this data, you're correct. This data would be much easier to see if it's on a graph similar to this one. There are also other types of graphs you can use. This makes it more easy for the viewer to see which city has the biggest difference between the state average and the city's average. So New York actually has the biggest difference between the state and New York City has a higher average daily to PM 2.5 than New York state average. Washington, it was included in this data set because we were looking at other things with Washington. Um, but Washington DC is the same, it's not showing any difference because Washington DC is just a self-contained city and federal district all in one, it doesn't have a state average to compare itself to. Although we could try to compare it to the surrounding states, so we could pull in data from Virginia, Maryland, and West Virginia and compare its average um, air, air quality metric of PM 2.5 to those air averages of the surrounding states. However, I did not do that in this example.